everyone. Welcome to Podkins. I'm Janelle, and I'm here with my special co-host, Steve Webkins. Hi, everybody. Thanks for being with us today, Steve. Oh, it's great to be here. Now, you may remember, Steve was actually our very first guest on Podkins. Yeah, it was a great time. It seems like a long time ago now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but now you're back for your very first co-hosting duty. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. It's great to be back in the Podkins booth talking about Webkins. Awesome. Now, last weekend was Veggie Fest. Did yeah. you enjoy it? Yeah, it was great. Collecting all of the different food prizes from Daisy Dough. Yeah. And when you collected uh, and put them all together on a sandwich maker, mm -hmm. little, very few people knew that it was actually a secret recipe. So if you combined all three of those items together on a sandwich maker, voila, you got yourself a vegan veggie wrap. Amazing. That must be delicious for everyone's pets. Mm -hmm. And you also got a few logging gifts as well. So we hope you guys are enjoying that. Now, Steve, do you think that Daisy Dough might have anything else up her sleeve? I don't know. She's uh, been a very uh, interesting character. It's been a great reaction from everybody. They really seem to like her. It doesn't seem like everyone's quite sure about Daisy yet. Yeah, I know. I, there's definitely been uh, some people who have been kind of uh, worried about Chef Gaspacho and yeah. what this means for him. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, before, you know, he's uh, Chef Gaspacho has had to deal with other new upstart chefs. So <laughs> right. I, I think he's a, a little bit uh, <laughs> nervous, even though he may not seem like it. Right. Daisy Doe is a... And a new character, and the great thing about new characters is you never know what's going to happen. That's true. So if you guys want to stay current with the whole Daisy Doe happening, be sure to check out Webkin's News. You can follow the story there. Also, as of today, the fall clothing line is here. If you want to dress your pet in comfy, trendy threads, it's time to visit PJ Collie at the Kin Style Outlet. Plus, a reminder that Fall Fest is coming up soon. It begins September 26th. You can click Floating Leaves and buy Fall Fest soda at the e-store to win awesome prizes. For more info, check out our last episode, Falling Into Fall, for more. Now, shall we check what's in our Kins Post? Let's do it. Last episode, we asked you to tell us what being a leader means to you, and we got some amazing answers. Play Now Puppy wrote, Dear Podkins, I show leadership at many places like at my house. Leadership to me means being responsible wherever you are. At home, I show leadership by setting an example, whether I'm cleaning my room without asking, helping clean up a mess, helping cooking, or teaching friends and family how to do something. Those are great examples of being a leader for sure. Yeah. Jay and Sue wrote, I have a friend from school who is a great leader. She studies hard and is academically very strong. She's funny and very athletic. We're on the same team for one sport and she's a leader there too. She's extremely talented and can lead anything. She can lead a group project at school and express her opinion very clearly without being rude and can keep people focused. Everyone wants to be in her group. She's a great person and leader. C. Vasco wrote, I was a leader when I worked. I was an incident commanding officer. Wow. That's an interesting sounding job. Yeah. I'm retired now, but being a leader takes courage, quick thinking, and thinking about others and their well-being, sometimes before your own. Learning new things and practicing for what could happen or not happen so you know what to do is also important. You must always consider what's the best for everyone. That's some amazing advice right there. Yeah. Adara917 says, I think that what makes a good leader is their willingness to help others and their determination to do what they believe is right. I'm a leader at school because I'm in student council and always do my best. I am a friend to all and lead the way. Awesome. Thanks to everyone for your letters. If you want to write to Podkins, send us an email at podkins at gans.com or leave us a comment in the section below this article. In this segment, we meet a GAN staffer and ask them about their job. Meet Adriano, producer here at Webkins. Hey, everybody. Thanks for being with us today. Yeah, no problem. So my first question for you is, can you describe what a producer does every day? How do you help make Webkins happen? So my job is to make sure that communication happens between the owner of the company and the different teams. The different teams include creative people that come up with all of the great ideas that you guys see on Webkins. Woohoo! Like uh, us. <laughs> the creative guys. The development team who are responsible for actually making it show up on screen. The artists who design and draw all of the cool stuff that you guys get to see. And then the QA department that makes sure that everything comes together and plays fantastic when you guys go onto the site. So my job is to coordinate all of the work between all of these different departments and make sure that everybody is communicating and knows what is due, when it's due, um, and when we expect everything to come out so you guys can experience all the fun on webkins.com. That sounds very complicated. <laughs> Can it it could it be. Yeah. It could be very complicated. But uh, if you are on top of everything and you make sure that you work well with everybody and work as a team, it actually gets done pretty seamlessly. Nice. 
Okay, so I have one little question here for you, uh, Adriano. I'm just wondering, like, were you always interested in working in games? Like, why did you uh, end up working in the games industry? I worked hard to get into it. It wasn't very easy. It's not a very easy industry to get into. It's competitive, isn't it? It's very competitive. Um, everybody wants to be a game developer. But if you stick to it and you work hard and you are tenacious about it, you'll definitely find your way into the industry if it's something you want to do. So I think that it's fun, it's challenging. I've loved video games my entire life, so it's pretty much my dream job. Awesome. Now, in this episode, we're talking all about leadership. So I have a question for you. What does being a leader mean to you? There's a couple of things that you need to have to be a great leader. Leadership means the ability to empower people to get their job done. So you're not really telling people what to do and you're not really commanding people to do things, but you're making sure that they have all of the tools that they need to be able to do their job properly as professionals. So some of the fun things that we do at Webkins to make sure that things get done is we have a lot of meetings together and we talk about a lot of fun stuff, a lot of brainstorming about what new characters you're going to see in Webkin's world, all the new storylines that you guys are going to see in Webkin's world. Um, and you guys are going to see some really cool ones coming up soon. And all of the new awesome ideas that you guys see every few weeks when we do our releases on Webkin's. So on Webkin's News is a great community for you guys to have your voices heard. So when we get together to do these brainstorming, we definitely make sure to listen to what our community is saying on the forums and in the comments to our news articles. So we really value the opinions of all of our users and listeners as we go through these processes. So I have a two-part question. Um, Firstly, what can we all do to become better leaders at school or on our sports teams or in clubs? And secondly, who do you think is a great leader in Webkin's world? What you guys can do to become better leaders in your school or your community is to focus on a couple of key things that really help define what a leader does. So the first one is teamwork. If you can't work with the team, you're not going to be a really good leader. So you need to make sure that you have the ability to work together with everybody else. Um, And then beyond that, you want to be inclusive. Everybody should be a part of the team. You shouldn't be kicking people out of the team because everybody brings some values and some ideas that you might not know. And then the third thing is it's not just about your idea. You need to have an understanding and you need to listen to the people in your team and to the people that you've included. Everybody comes from a different background and a different walk of life and everybody has a valuable input to have. As far as the best leader in Webkin's world, in my opinion, is obviously Miss Birdie. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) She's the one that takes everybody through the site and introduces all of the new players to Webkin's world, to all the great and exciting features. Yeah, and she has a vision and she wants everyone to share her vision. And do you think that's what makes her a great leader too? Definitely. And the fact that she leads you guys in school is a big one and teaches everybody. So I definitely agree that Miss Birdie is the best leader on Webkin's. Agreed. Our creative end, we always know like the ideas that we've come up with. So we have a, a basic idea of some of the projects that we've got planned, but you're the guy that has the dates and the notes, the priorities for things. So are there any uh, sneak peeks or hints that you can give us as to what we can expect coming up soon on Webkin's World? Yeah, definitely. There's always something going on in Webkin's World, and you guys are going to see some really exciting things in the next couple of months. So the first one is a giant storyline that our creative team is putting together, and you guys have may have heard a little bit about coming in the next few weeks, talking about getting you guys involved in the storyline and helping drive the outcome. So keep an eye out for that. That's incredibly exciting. Finally, here's the very important question. What's your absolute favorite thing to do in Webkin's world? My absolute favorite thing to do in Webkin's world is dressing my pets. Oh, cool. I just love the creativity and there's so many items and so many combinations and so many different kinds of pets that you can really build your own living and breathing world in Webkins.com. So you're always visiting PJ at the Kinstall Outlet. Always, always <laughs> visiting PJ and always checking out the latest fashions. Nice. I can't wait for the winter fashions. It's my favorite. Excellent. Adriano, thanks so much for being with us today. We all learned a lot. Thanks. I was so happy to be here. Can't wait to come again. So, Steve, you're a senior writer here at GANS. Yep. Do you have any tips on how to be a leader? Um, well, I've had a few yeah, leadership roles, and I'd say really kind of the key thing is to lead by example, which mm-hmm. kind of means, you know, you're trying to treat others as you treat yourself because you're leading a group of people yeah. and you want to have everybody feel like their ideas are valid. And it's really a collaboration. Certain point, yeah, you know, you're the leader. You have to choose the direction which you go, but you want to surround yourself with a good team mm-hmm. and everybody contributes their ideas. And then ultimately, you have to be open to hearing ideas other than your own that might be better than yours and then being able to say hey that's a great idea and let's go in that direction yeah that's really well said janelle what do you like to see in people who are leading you and how do you like to lead i think one of the really important things about being a leader to me is that you as a leader have a really strong vision for what you want so uh, a lot of the successful leaders that i've worked for or worked with have always known exactly what they want 
and they know how to treat everyone around them very respectfully to try and get that vision accomplished. That's great. Hopefully in the future, we can all use that advice in our own lives and really start to become better leaders. In our next episode, we'll be doing a full Webkin's Halloween preview. Get ready for sneak peeks about items, events, costumes, and more. You don't want to miss this, especially if you really love Halloween like we do. What's your favorite thing about Halloween? Do you have any costume ideas yet? If so, what are they? Are you planning on going trick-or-treating this year? Or maybe you're planning a party? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please send us an email at podkins at gans.com or leave us a comment in the section below this article. See you next time. Bye. Bye.